What is up guys, Joe Snow right here and today I have great news. The iOS 10.1.1 jailbreak is finally released as a beta format and as an IPA that you can install even on Windows. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Uh, a couple of uh, hours ago, Porti Uriop or Luca Tedesco, the guy that I said he's going to do this jailbreak on top of the um, Google Project Zero, released a couple of betas where it is a couple of betas but they are very very unstable and are basically um, for developers for those of you who know what you are doing so this is the page uh, yalu.qwertyuriop.com comes in four mirrors so you can download from whatever mirror you want you better check this hash i'm not going to buffer with it and you need to install it with CDI Impactor. You can do it on either Mac or on Windows. It's no longer a simple Xcode project. It was compiled as an IPA, but also it required a CDI Impactor update. And I'm going to show you. If you're on Windows and you want to install this, be careful. I wouldn't recommend you to install this and he wouldn't recommend you to install this because this is a beta and there are high chances that this will fuck up your device. Well, not likely, but you know, it is a beta. It's not stable. It's extremely unstable, extremely glitchy. It's the first iteration of it and you better be careful with it, right? You better wait for a more stable update. I'm going to tell you on the channel when it comes out, probably won't be long till then if the beta three is already out, but let me show you if you want to, uh, to get into it. How you can do that at first you need to download cd impactor if you already have cd impactor installed you need to update it um, a couple of hours ago sorik the creator of cd impactor created a new update in order to support this jailbreak go ahead click on impactor and check for updates and if you're running an older version like me you will see this 9 0.9.35 support application graphs for ios 10 jailbreak and you should be able to install it, right? There we go. So I'm um, going to go in here. It will, uh, it will download the pack and I'm going to wait for it to, um, to download completely. Right, so after you download the CDA Impactor, you need to simply uh, get it and replace it wherever you have it. I'm gonna do this. And now you should be good to go. You can open CDI Impactor and it will support the IPA. Now, how you download the IPA, it is available right here. But again, keep in mind, as look at as Tedesco said, this is extremely unstable. It might contain CDI, but for some devices it's already disabled. And the problem is that this is basically for iPhone 7 and I think 7 Plus on iOS 10.1.1 only. So if you're running iOS 10.0 or iOS 10.0.2, 10.0.1, 10 10.1 and so on, this won't work, only 10.1.1 for iPhone 7. And also it works with 6S for the moment, but it wasn't really tested, I'm going to show you. Uh, he says somewhere in here that he did not test it extremely much on these devices and therefore it isn't extremely good. Oh, all right, so also 7 and 7 Plus are the most well-tested devices. 6S and iPad Pro should work, but testing on it was very... Uh, was way less. And Jay Freeman, the creator of Cydia, said that for those who dare to experience the uh, look at the disco's unstable or glitchy beta jailbreak, uh, here is the update, right? So um, you should really only check this out if you really want to see what it is and if you really want to take the risks because it's really risky for the moment and updates will come for sure. And I'm going to keep you updated, right? So let's see what happens. I connected an iPhone 5S, YOLO, but I don't think it will uh, it will jailbreak it because it's not under the um, the devices that are supported. But I just want to show you how to install the IPA. Right. So you need to go ahead on his website right here on yalo.qwertyuriop.com and click the first meter, the second, the whatever you want, and it will download the application. It's Mac Portal. We talked about this in one of my uh, videos, actually in more than one of my videos. We discussed about them right here. If you go on my channel, you can go ahead here and this is a fix for that jailbreak. 
and these are the videos about and this one right here these videos are about the iOS 10.1.1 jailbreak and the uh, Young Beards project on a Google Project Zero containing the Xcode files, right? So this is where you can find it if you need. But I got the IPA and let's see if we can install it using Windows. So it's Mac Portal plus Yalu. Let's first see what's inside this IPA because I'm curious. And we're going to go to 7-zip and open archive because I wanna see what is the difference between the real project and QWERTY Woody Ops project. Right, so apparently nothing but this tar file. Let me extract it. Right, let me see what is inside this tar file. All right, so you have, you have definitely got a root access. So now you can modify applications and in the applications it only contains Cydia, but Cydia substrate isn't working on um, success. Therefore, you won't have it for the moment because it is a beta. In the next versions, it will, of course, be. Then you have a couple of binaries from what I can see, a couple of files, frameworks, probably other exploits that are used, right? And nothing really fancy, probably a couple of other binaries as well. Yes, yeah, I can't really open, uh, open this tar with 7-zip properly, but I got the idea. It's a bootstrap.tar file. It, this is everything in plus inside the file, but on the coding part, there is a lot of code um, that is added for getting the root access, for shell access. You can have SSH and so on. So I'm going to drag this on the device and simply need to log in to my uh, user and pass. You simply need your um, Apple ID and password that you use to download applications usually. Right. It will say this, you click OK. And then it should sign the application and load it to your phone. From that step, you simply need to press on the application on the screen and it will do whatever it does. But I'm not going to do that because this is an iPhone 5S and the biggest device I have, it's an iPhone 6 that is not compatible for the moment. Again, this is a some sort of jailbreak. It's still a technical jailbreak like the one created by Jan Beer that I presented a couple of days ago. But this one is of course available as an IPA. It gives you root access and also is more stable than that project, right? But it's not as compatible as it. So um, yeah, this is basically it. Now the application installed, it says Mac portal and it's the same app that you get when you use the project. I cannot test it because if I open it, my device simply restarts. If I simply tap it, it simply kills the um, the uh, device and it reboots back to normal. But again, if you want to test this before it gets fully launched uh, and it exits the beta stage, then I would highly recommend you to use it on other device than your main one that you want to jailbreak because if you don't, then you might get a boot loop or you might get it not to power on anymore, which means that you need to, to restore it through iTunes. And if you restore it through iTunes, it will go ahead to iOS 10.2 and you will lose the ability to jailbreak. So very important, do not do not do it on your um, your main device. If you, For example, if you have like me an iPhone 5S or an iPhone 6, but your main device is an iPhone 7 and so on, then it is good. You can try it on your older devices to see if it works. Then you can try it on your iPhone 7 as well or iPhone 6S. But if you don't have one, then it would be great to wait for the next beta because there have been a couple of problems I'm going to show you. The first betas were a little bit unfortunate. He uh, forgot a couple of files or he messed up a couple of things. Uh, and yeah, seems like I fucked up some more. Beta two coming in the next few minutes, I hope. Right, so what if the beta, beta three also have a couple of fuck ups and you destroy your phone? I'm not saying that he's not a good dev. I'm not saying that his jailbreak is not good. It is, but it's still a beta. And on this page, he made it completely clear, crystal clear, that you should not use this unless you're a developer because it might make damage to your device. Wait for a stable release. On this channel, I'm going to show you when a, um, when a uh, release, a full release that is not in the beta will come. Right, so if you look at here, this is extremely, extremely um, hilarious. 
check out the uh, the license. My patches and additions on top of Jan Beer's code are licensed under ABSE. Anyone but Stefan Ezer license. What? <laughs> Who the hell? has something with Stefan Ezer. But anyways, this is extremely hilarious, but this is not the point of this. Uh, it says, do not download the software from other sources other than these links under my, uh, under any circumstance. It's very easy to backdoor this, um, some sort of software that contains malware. Please be extremely careful. These mirrors are trusted, but still check the SHA. Right, so what? What actually Quarty Wurioff is saying is that you should not go ahead on uh, jailbreakme10.com, for example, and get the same thing because it might contain a bundle. It might contain a malware that will kill your device. Only download from his official sources. There are four of them, so you are uh, basically able to download from whatever you want. I would recommend you to get his own or Sorik's one. Sorik is the um, the actual creator of Cydia, but you can take any of these, they're trusted. And you should check the um, SHA sum if you really are paranoid and you don't think you downloaded the right thing. Right, so basically, again, compatible only with 6S and 7 for the moment and with iPad Pro, but it's bound to get compatibility to more than this device, right? So, um, yeah, be sure to check it out if you want. Be sure to be extremely cautious with what you do with this because if you do something wrong, it might ruin your chance to get a jailbreak. So yeah, I'm going to keep you updated on anything that happens. Be sure to subscribe to stay updated. And till the next time, peace out.